But we begin this morning with new threats by President Trump regarding the partial federal government shutdown now in its third week. The president now says he's willing to let the shutdown last for months or even years. Following a meeting with congressional leaders on Friday, the president also suggested he could build the wall without congressional approval by declaring a national emergency. Mola Lenghi is at the White House with the latest. Mola, good morning. Well, good morning. Vice President Mike Pence will lead staff meetings here at the White House today and continue negotiations. But without a vote scheduled in the Senate until next Tuesday, roughly 800,000 federal workers will have to wait at least four more days without any indication of when they might see their next paycheck. I don't call it a shutdown. I call it doing what you have to do. Can't. President Trump said that may mean keeping the government closed for months or even years. If we have to stay out for a very long period of time, we're going to do that. He dug in on demands for his key campaign promise and insisted for the first time that he won't let Congress be the barrier to building a wall. I may do it, but we can call a national emergency and build it very quickly. A national emergency would let the president tap Pentagon funds to begin wall construction without congressional approval. Thank you. Nancy Pelosi, the new Democratic speaker, spoke out in an interview to air on CBS's Sunday morning. I think that effectively what he would like to say is it doesn't matter what Congress sends me. It just matters what I insist upon. But with both sides steeled for a fight, the president appeared to bend on what a border wall may look like. If I build this wall or fence or anything the Democrats need to call it, if I build a steel wall, rather than a concrete wall, it will actually be stronger. Still, President Trump and top Democrats emerged from a meeting unable even to agree if they're making progress. We had a very, very productive meeting. Lengthy and sometimes a contentious conversation. And the new House Speaker also faced a contentious conversation in her own ranks after one new high-profile Democrat in Congress, Rashida Tlaib, made this profane remark about the president. We're going to go in there, we're going to impeach them all. President Trump called that highly disrespectful. You don't impeach people when they're doing a good job. And you don't impeach people when there was no collusion. Still, Speaker Pelosi defended her fellow Democrat. I don't think it's anything worse than the president has, what the president has said. But added, she'll wait for special counsel Robert Mueller to finish his work. And that headache hanging over this White House isn't going away in the new year or with the new Congress as the special counsel investigating Russian interference in the 2016 presidential election just asked for a six-month extension to finish his work. Michelle? It goes on and on, Mola. Thank you. Well, you can see all of Jane Pauley's interview with House Speaker Nancy Pelosi tomorrow on CBS Sunday morning.